Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol SWRM. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame. I think that's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and just makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to state the obvious, but I am anyways, an absolutely monster move today, not only from a price action perspective, but you look down here at the volume and biggest volume by far this chart has had in a very long time. So a lot of eyeballs on this one. So let's map out some levels of support, then we can talk areas of resistance. First area of support I'm gonna talk about is what I would call the ideal level. I mean, Hickley, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? And that would be if the price can stay up above four cents. Now, don't get me wrong. If the price falls below four, by no means am I saying the entire chart's ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price can manage to somehow stay up above four cents, that would definitely be a huge sign of power on the bull's part. Next level of support after that, down here at the three cent mark. So four cents and then three cents, two of the near term levels of support. Taking a step back though and looking at the big picture of things. So this of course assumes you care about more so the big picture of it all. But that's where the purple line here comes into play which is the famous 50 period simple moving average. Keyword there being moving. So as time goes by, that purple line is going to move itself higher and higher. So again, if you're someone that's sitting there saying, look Clay, I care about the big picture and I just want a very straightforward way to gauge the health of the move. This right here being defined as the move. Well, if you want to gauge the health of it, like I said, just watch that purple line. As long as the price stays above the purple line, as that line moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, no questions asked. Now, what about areas of resistance? Where are the sellers seemingly hanging out at currently? As it stands right now, the sellers have not really kind of hid where they're hanging out. They've made it pretty well known, and that's right up there at the six cent mark. You can see a whole bunch of times today, you know, the, the bulls got up around that area, yeah, but as far as actually getting above it and staying above it, just never happened. So I think we can all agree that the main area of price congestion is right up there around that six cent mark. So that is a public enemy number one going forward. But all in all, at this point in time, it's really just about going through healthy consolidations, building higher bases, because as long as higher bases are built over time, the chart will take care of itself. But anyway, you slice it, nice move today. We'll see if the bulls can build upon this momentum or not. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.